The Family is called in Action Comics issue 982. Superman's fight with the Revenge Squad heats up this issue as the newly blinded Man of Steel retreats with his family to the Fortress of Solitude. The Revenge Squad meanwhile deals with their own interpersonal problems as each member demands what Cyborg Superman promised them. Henshaw solves the problem by telling the team that all their wants and desires lay inside the Fortress of Solitude, and killing Superman will unlock them for them. Looking for ways Ways to correct his blindness, Superman is alerted to the arrival of the Revenge Squad. Sending Lois and John away, he activates the Omegahedron and heads into battle with the squad. At first, he bests them, but the combined strength of the Superman Revenge Squad is enough to defeat him, and he is only saved by the arrival of Lex Luthor, Supergirl, Keenan Kong, Superwoman, and Steel. Action Comics issue 982 stepped up its game this issue with the Superman family finally meeting each other properly and all at once to do battle with their evil doppelgangers. What's cool is that Clark's blindness doesn't stop him from doing his job or anything like that and what's great to see is that they couldn't just get rid of it either like it wasn't just like some thing that just hampered him for like an issue or something he's still dealing with that they couldn't just use one of the wonderful devices in the Fortress of Solitude just to get rid of it so he has to sort of adapt to it kind of and it's pretty cool seeing him sort of using his other senses, his heightened other senses to fight the Revenge Squad and did a pretty good job of it until he didn't. The Revenge Squad's goals are also really interesting since each member could theoretically return to their own status quos of the pre-Flashpoint versions of themselves. You know, Mongol could get Warworld back, Metallo will probably get something a bit more traditional in the way of a robot body, Zod will want his people back, so on and so forth. So I'm really excited to see what will become of this team. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you'll check out my other reviews of comics out this week. You can also catch myself and Joel from Cape Joel in our weekly podcasts, Cape TV and the Comic Multiverse over on his channel, the Weekly Pool Archive channel, and on SoundCloud. Links to them can be found in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and if you're feeling a touch generous, I have a cyber tip jar set up. Just follow the links below, and until next time, I am Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, and I will see you in another video. Yeah.